too bad. All right. So let's play. So as in all Legend of Dungeon games, you want to pick up the beer. Beer is a key element of your gameplay early on. You want those early experience points. And oh, this has got to be a good playthrough because, hey, you get the birthday cake. And you know when there's birthday cake, life is good. Alright, so like usual, you got snakes and bats. That's pretty much the first few levels. Um, and also, you know, first level, drink the beer. You do get thirsty um, down in the dungeon. And then replenish your hit points. Very important uh, thing to be doing as you go along. Sometimes it's easy to forget that, yes, you need to replenish and then you go in and get hit once and you die after three hours or hours of work so best thing to do stock as you go and like I've said in some of the other uh, videos make sure that you um, you know learn to love these first few levels because you're going to see a lot of them before you get to the end this is a really 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 tough game I think it took me a hundred tries to get to the treasure the first time um, and I've only actually gotten down to the treasure twice on the Alpha Minotaur uh, which is a previous version of this game so you know, really get to love these first few levels pick up as many potions as you can get some experience learn about how to defeat the bats and so on but you don't really need to worry about dying because most of these characters do anywhere from one to five damage and you've got a hundred hit points so you really have some room to to play around learn the ropes um, and pick up as many apples and things as possible oh and a book that's pretty rare on the first level although it is the viney book or the wild tome of vines so it's not that great of a book because all it does really is ties up creatures and vines. And this is good because they can't attack you, I guess, but I've never really found it that useful. It is kind of fun, I guess, if you like to tie things up, but um, you know, most of the time a sword on these early levels is going to serve you just as well as any book will, unless it's the Red Magic Missile Book, which is a lot of fun to have early on if you can get it. And, you know, again, as you're going along, try these little doorways. Um, it's usually one rectangle here and then a rectangle immediately next to it on the door. If it's a rectangle that's too close to the door, it's usually not a door. Hit all the switches that you can. Um, those are always fun. Sometimes they reveal mystery rooms with things behind them. And basically, that's pretty much your first, I'd say, 10 15 minutes of gameplay is just going to be bats and snakes and pretty easy levels. I haven't really seen any changes from um, early on and I just got a very nice bastard sword here which does a chunk of damage to characters. I think it went from some up to 53. My regular sword does Significantly less than that, I think. But let's see. Okay, I think that we're done with this level now, so we can make our way to the exit, which I think was through here. Oh, nope, not through here. Maybe it was through here. Uh, nope, not through there. Maybe it was through this one. Uh, let's see. Yes, there it is. All right, let's go on down. Okay, this is level three. Again, just kind of cruise through, pick up stuff, check out the boxes. 
Oh, and it looks like I got a guardian. This is pretty unusual to see a guardian come out of his little wall thing that early. And if you can, avoid them do because they really will damage you. And generally, you're not going to have enough mojo to handle them. So this is, might be a good time. I'm about 90 points down on health, so I'm going to try out some health potions. So remember, health potions each time are different, so that's dark violet. We can remember that. That's a good thing to have. Not going to mess around with any of the other potions for the moment. Don't really need them. And I think we'll probably just try and get down to an interesting level here, like... Five, maybe six, we see some Lich Kings and Mages and other interesting fellows. Although, you know, picking up a few more apples can help you. Ooh, and there's a new guy. I don't know who this is, but we can certainly... I have no idea what it is. Oh, it's a vampire boss. Take another potion. We'll take another stab at defeating them. I don't know if we actually can, but he's only taking off two damage or so per time. Not too bad. Well, I'm getting down to that, so maybe we are going to try out the the vines. Oh, it's actually possible to defeat this thing. If we're going to do it, we're going to need some more health. So let's add this up. All apples, all the time. And let's try the sickly green potion. Uh oh, sleep. That's probably not a good thing to be doing right now. But <laughs> I guess it's all right. As long as the vampire boss happens to be occupied for the moment. Okay, let's tie them up again. Try the yellow potion. Ooh, a little bit of extra... Well, at a certain point here, I'm going to have to probably cut bait and just let them go because I'm taking off tons of damage, but it doesn't really seem to be hurting them at all. And as much as I'd like to stick around... They're just going to keep taking me down. So let's go around and look for a few more apples. Because that pretty much messed up my plan of having lots and lots of health to go down and show you other levels. At least we got a couple more apples. Got a safety ethereal hat of awesome. I think we can... Let the birthday cake go at this point. I don't know if this is worth jumping for. That's a book. Generally, you know, if you have lava, not worth jumping into it. Even if it looks like it's something really good. Probably just let it go. So we had a nice battle with the Vampire King, but I think we're going to just say goodbye for now and maybe come back to that later. Right now, our main objectives are going to be finding a little bit better book and finding some health, either potions or apples. And since these guys are probably not worth the time, we're going to just keep moving along. And it doesn't look like there's a whole lot else to this level here. Maybe this is a door. No, not a door. No, well, they're not doors. All right, well, you know, sometimes you just head on down to the next level, even if you don't want to. All right, level five. Should see some interesting stuff down here, I would imagine. Oh, kind of sparkling gold. Hmm. Oh, and... Get rid of the old sword. Don't need that. 
Leveling up at this point is not a bad thing either. What about lime green? Anything good? Nope. Oh well. Get some stairs down. Ooh, and a secret door. Secret doors are good things to find. Sometimes behind them there is cool stuff to be had. Although in this case, all there really was was a circular path. Back to the beginning of the level. Ah, here's something. That might be good. Hopefully this is apples. No. No apples yet. Turn on the lights though. That was a little bit of a risk with the guardian there, but we'll take it. And I think we're going to just head down to level 6. Use that one apple that we got, Luffy. See what else we can find. Alright, this is where the uh, lantern is going to come in handy. Ooh, and another book. Hopefully it is a good book. Let us pray. Is it a good book? Oh yeah, Cyclops. Hard to beat the Cyclops. Yeah, this means we're probably going to have a pretty good run this time, I would guess. Stylin'. Nothing like having a little Cyclops on your side. Ooh, and a Leprechaun. That is a new character. I have not seen that yet. Oh, and they pick up gold coins? Oh, that's really annoying. Well, I guess if you kill them, then you get a lot of gold coins. Sorry about that, Cyclops. Ooh, and I just got 21 damage taken off. That is bad news. Down to 8. Oh, boy. Not good. Oh, we can let our Cyclops take care of the rest of these fellers. There you go. Kind of lure him over there. Let him take care of business. Oh, and that's the end of us. Well, let's try again.